Now, do you, like most of us, enjoy a drink? But perhaps you're keen to make smarter choices to help make the good times last longer at your next social occasion. Joining me now with some tips and tricks are Frankie Walker, Head of Lion Ambassadors and Enlightened Programme, and Jude Walter from Alcohol and Me. Morning to you both. Hello. Really lovely to have you here. Uh, Jude, let's start with you first. Tell me a little bit about Alcohol and Me. Thanks, Mel. Yeah, so Alcohol and Me is a highly interactive alcohol education programme which has been designed to give people practical advice and, and real life tools that they can use to help them make smarter drinking choices. So what are you noticing about people and, and why they maybe drink too much? Yeah, it's interesting. It's unlike a, a microwave or a car, alcohol doesn't come with a manual. Yeah. Um, so we often learn by experience or from advice from peers and parents and, and the like, and sometimes that's not overly positive. So, you know, our research shows that about 47% of New Zealanders actually want to make a change to the way they drink. They just don't know where to start or mm. you know where to go to look for good quality information. So that's that's our mission with Alcohol and Me is to make it easier for people to know and understand how alcohol affects their body and their mind. And it affects everybody differently too, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So how sure. can how can people be smarter? Well, with Alcohol and Me, we've got a really simple mantra: size, pace, space. So if we start with the size bit, mm -hmm. the key there is get to know the size of the drinks that you're drinking. Now your body, the human body, can only process one standard drink in an hour, right. and that's 10 grams of pure alcohol. So these glasses here that I've got here, right. this shows you what one standard drink looks like. So this is wine in the middle, that's 100 mils. You've wow. got a 5% beer on the end there, that's 255 mils. And then this blue liquid at the end, which I've added food colouring to today to make it easier to see on screen. But that's a spirit and that's 30 mils. So that is all your body can process in one hour. Now they're a lot smaller than the glass you'd probably pour for yourself or you'd get served in a bar. So Exactly. Uh, that's why it's so important to get to know the sizes of the drinks that you're having and stop kidding yourself that it was just one. Yeah, because if you got poured that beer in a bar, you'd be like, where's Go back the rest looking of for it? the rest, absolutely. Well, that is very, very good to know. So know your size of what, a standard, what your body can process. Yeah, so if, yeah, the human liver can only process 10 grams of pure alcohol, so it's your standard drink, but it's really easy because every single bottle of alcohol sold in New Zealand has the number of standard drinks on the back label. So, you know, a bottle of wine that says 7.4 standard drinks, it's going to take you 7.4 hours to process the alcohol oh, in okay. that wine. Uh, Frankie, now you manage the Enlighten programme, can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure, yeah, so uh, we've got hundreds in fact, thousands of customers all over the country. The Enlighten program is all about taking this concept of lower drinking, moderate drinking. And um, me and my team uh, came up with around 200 different mixed drinks, all under one standard drink per standard serve. And then we've rolled those drinks and menus out to our key customers all over the country. That is excellent. Okay, but you, and you've got some tips for moderation for me, haven't you? Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's really important. The, the whole one standard drink is the key because it's really the only sort of fact about alcohol yeah. that you can really pass mm. on reliably because everyone's different and people react in different ways. But the reality is, yeah, so under one standard drink. My thing would be, and this is why I'm going to make a punch, is if I'm hosting people at my house, I can control the amount of alcohol by making something pre-made for them. So you kind of avoid that, that first nervous hour when people are coming over where they're kind of getting a little bit intoxicated because, you know, and having a couple yeah. of drinks. So tips for me would be use lower alcohol products to mix with and understand what's going into your mix mm -hmm. and then maybe yeah pre-make something so that you've got control over what people are okay, happy speaking drinking. Of, what are you going to make for us? Let's get yes yeah, so we've got Sauvignon Blanc here in fact we'll just get on with it I'll just yeah. I'll just I'm just going to make make a punch so Sauvignon Blanc is a litre and a half don't worry it's for lots of people. Okay, so, so how many people are we talking yeah, about? Yeah. Then, More than um, just you at home. Yeah and then speaking of working with lower alcohol this is um, dry vermouth so Italian fortified wine. Okay. These are like real light, bright flavours. Nice punch bowl too, by yeah, the way. Yeah, you just this is gr Granny's Granny's punch bowl, and then this is 500 ml of celery syrup. Okay. Yeah. Which you it's can, quite a unique sounding thing. Yeah, we got it. We picked it up in the supermarket on the way here, so it's not that unattainable. Okay, it smells really good actually. So we are in the middle of middle of Flash Auckland. Yeah. Um, so there we go, and then all that's missing from here is soda. Now, a glass of wine, if I just poured you that glass of wine, it's 1.4 standard drinks. Right. But now I've added some soda in there, I've got some syrup in there. My 150 ml serve is going to come in at 0.9. So in under an hour, you're going to be completely good to go again. Wow, so what's, point, what's 150 ml serve? Is that like... It's not all of that. I'll, okay. sh I'll show you. So we'll just give this a little stir just to combine them. And then I'm just going to be real at home and just dump some party ice in there. So it's watch so out. Dump it quick. We're running out of time. Okay, cool. 
And this is a great way, when I was saying before about the pace and the space, these lower alcoholic beverages, you know, this is an easy way to pace yourself over the course of a night when you can actually, you don't have to stop drinking completely, you can just choose smarter options. Yeah, that and is a great And they taste good these days too. There's so many different varieties of drink that you can make. Okay, excellent. Well, you pour me, you pour me one out. I'll pour it, you one out. It's going to look good. Um, and I'm going to tell you where you can learn more about it. If you want to learn more about drinking smart and to take the quiz to find out how you your drinking stacks up, you head to alcoholandme.org.nz. Right, hand me one over and I will do a little taste test to see how exactly it tastes. Cool, should be nice and bright and fresh and Smells light. delicious. Then I'm just going to, I'm just going to basil you. Okay, bang some basil in there. <laughs> and I'm also going to quickly just, this might seem a bit weird, but crack pepper. Trust, okay. Just trust Great. me. Excellent. There you go. I'm going to have a try. Delicious. Thank you guys so much, so much. Great. Pleasure.